Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in between this and last episode, I did go ahead and do a trade for Peppermint. Now if you can look in my inventory, as you can see what I am missing is the Frost Scale Plate. I found a player who needed a Frost Scale Plate for their true neutral crafting, and they had like 30 to 40 Peppermint Swords, so we did that trade to me. That is a very fair trade. Comment down below if it was a little bit of a steal, but to me, I think that was totally fair. Anyways, this episode we're going to do Hardcore Hive. We should be able to do it very easily now that we have a weapon doing 2 million damage. Now in there I'm going to be using the Glacial Frost over the Tesla Ring, mainly because it gives me a lot more health. With Glacial Frost I get 1.6 million, with the other ring I get 1.2 million health. I still think this is going to be a little bit nicer. Now we are getting a lot less critical with this setup. But I'm still getting around, well once we load into the game I can check, I'm still getting 129 crit, which is plenty of critical. With the Tesla ring we get about 144, I mean not sorry, we get 244 with the Tesla ring, which in my opinion is a little bit higher than we really need. Yes, we will almost never miss a crit, but we really don't need that much. And plus with Glacial Frost we're getting a little bit more damage because it gives about 55,000 damage. Okay, what is happening? In this raid, every single time I try to use Havoc, I just, I can't use any ability. So this happened actually before I recorded this video. Earlier today, this happened as well. This is like my third to fourth time trying to record this. So we're going to go back in there and just see if that happens again. Let's see, I'm just going to use Havoc right off the bat. And it breaks my character. What is this? Okay. Havoc is apparently broken. I don't know what is happening with that. In the lobby, that happens too. Hold up. Is RPG Sim just fully broken right now? RPG Sim might just be fully broken right now. This is very interesting. I didn't think this was gonna happen literally at all. Can I use Calamity? So I can use Calamity Moon Cutters, but the second I use Havoc, my character breaks. We are not gonna be using Havoc. As you can see in the lobby, is doing it again and I did just so you guys know it's not just a leaving and rejoining thing I did leave and rejoin multiple times this is like my fifth time trying to record this video so we're just gonna use the rune of holy light instead because apparently we literally cannot use havoc we can't even replace the R anymore Wow, that is a game-breaking bug. We're gonna leave and rejoin. I'm not too sure if we're gonna have enough DPS output with using Light Rune in both of the abilities. We really, really, really did need that Havoc. The Havoc was pretty much the only way we were gonna do this. But as you guys can see, we even left and rejoined. We tried many different things. The game is simply not letting you use Havoc. And if you use Havoc, it literally canceled out every other move. So. I've never seen that bug in this game in my two years-ish of playing it, so let me know down below if you guys are getting this. I am going to DM Zeph, let him know that that is happening, so hopefully that can get fixed really quickly. Anyways, at least we can use Calamity, and at least we can use our Rune of Holy Light. So this should still have enough damage output to do this raid with a pretty decent time. Now, it will be slower than if we actually were able to use Havoc in here, but it shouldn't be that much slower. The Peppermint is going to carry us because we get that 2 million ridiculous damage. This is a weird episode. I don't know why, but the last few episodes of this series have just been a massive struggle. Okay, we just took a ton of damage here. we got to be really careful. Anyways, the boss is now spawned in. And yes, okay, this damage output is looking a lot better than it did before. So before last episode when we were in here, we were really struggling to do any damage. Now, of course, a Havoc would be very nice, but... It's just the game's telling me no right now, so this is going to be very interesting. We should have enough time to do this, and we should do this without too much of an issue. It will just take quite a while. This might be like a 10-minute run right here. I'm sure that's going to get patched really quickly. If not, he's already working on it. Or maybe it's just happening to me. Let me know down below if this is happening to anybody else. It could even be something to do with the fact that I'm using Peppermint. I don't know if that could be something that's causing it. I don't know if it was the runes I was using. I really do not know why that was happening. But as you guys saw, when I left and rejoined, every single rune I had on, so that it happened with the Rune of Holy Light, it happened if I moved slots, it, it just, for whatever reason, the game was just like, no, you cannot use Havoc. And if you use Havoc, we're gonna make sure you can't use anything else. In the end end game, your speed is like only plus 32, so with this much speed, we should be fine. Whoa. Whoa. Did you guys see that? All right. 
So now that we're on normal, this should be very, very quick. This should just, we should just breeze on by in this one. Okay, so let's do that. And then let's do this. Then that should pop the egg. Awesome. So 171 billion is still quite a bit of health, but if need be, we can respawn. And if you guys happen to skip ahead in this video and you're like, Shasko, you're on normal and why aren't you using Havoc? It's because of that stupid Havoc game breaking bug. I'm sure the title of this episode is gonna be Game Breaking Havoc Bug. Anyways, like literally in the two years of playing this game, I've never seen that happen once. And then when I'm doing the solo series, on a day where like I actually need Havoc to work, the game's like, eh, you know what we should do? We should make it to where you just can't use Havoc. Let's just, let's do that. Let's just do that. Anyways, um, I have been thinking about doing uh, this series a little bit more often than I used to do because we had that absurd one month long break of not doing this. So we will be doing this a little bit more often. Also, in real life, this is going to be some real life talk as well because we got a, <laughs> this is going to take a while of just walking around in a circle killing this boss. I'm going to be moving in real life here pretty soon, so videos might slow down a little bit, but it won't be like last time where I just vanished from YouTube for four months. We're not going to be doing that. We got really lucky here because we're going to be able to do damage to him still, even during the bug phase. Even the heaven... Oh, I don't think the heaven split will hit at all, but still, this is really lucky. When this happens, you actually get to do damage to them during the bug phase, so that was a very, very, very lucky wall spawn that, like, never happens. Okay. So we got 13 minutes to do 100 billion. I think we will be okay. What would be amazing is if we can actually get a ring or necklace drop. That is kind of where our gear is lacking. Anyways, what I am happy about is that Realm of Shadows, as you guys know, is out. So in the past, I was very worried about EOT on this character because, well, EOT is just like not gonna happen alone, at least without any EOT gear itself. But now we can do Realm of Shadows. So we might have a chance of doing EOT alone. Okay, so this is going pretty well. These runs are a little bit slow. Again, that's just because we can't use Havoc in here, so. I swear, if there's like a million comments down below being like, Shasko, why aren't you using Havoc in, a, in there? I'm like, because Havoc didn't want to work today. And the final million. Okay, did we get any drops? Well, we got the pest control because that is technically our first ever hive completion, but we got no drops, but that is the usual of this game. Anyways, guys, I'm going to end this episode off here. Hopefully next episode, the havoc bug will be fixed so we can actually do that thing on hardcore. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.